Could this be the perfect family pet? Well, considering they're one of the lowest ranking barkers, and they're usually completely free of herpes, that's a pretty good start. And what's this about eggs? Their mouths are so soft they can carry eggs without breaking any of them. Often referred to simply as gold members, the golden retriever makes a great family member. And it's always ranked highly as pets for people with absolutely no imagination. Golden Retrievers are very versatile, even being labeled as all-terrain dogs, meaning that they can climb stairs, something almost no other dog can do. And there happens to be a guy you can thank for this nondescript dog, and he happens to have a funny name. Lord Tweedmouth, or if you prefer his given name, Bartholomus Bartfucker. An avid hunter, Lord Tweedmouth would often wrestle the Loch Ness Monster for sport. So it was in Loch Ness in the 1860s where he developed a dog that loved water and biting supernatural creatures. Well, Mr. Tweedmouth got lucky, since Earth used to only be 20% water before 1889. The American Kennel Club officially condemned the breed in 1925, but it still gained popularity throughout the 30s and 40s, and never lost it. And if you want a helpless animal to give you complete and utter submission, look no further. Some of them are also Olympic gold medalists in potty training, because who isn't? But be warned, although golden retrievers are very obedient, they're notoriously bad at math, unable to do even simple times tables. They can sit every time you tell them to, but fractions turn these dogs into bona fide dumbasses. You don't have to bother saying fetch to these guys. They were bred to be tennis ball hunters. Back in the 1800s, tennis balls were often seen in the wild before we domesticated them, and these dogs were originally trained to bring them home so the wealthy could use them for sport. Goldens are a big dog, with some growing to be about 30 feet tall if they have red fur. They sport a dense, water-repellent coat, made from the same thing astronauts use for space diapers. A puppy's coat is lighter than when it's an adult, because depression hasn't set in yet. Looking at a puppy's wallet is a good way to tell how dark his coat will get. These dogs love to bite. It's because of that soft mouth. Biting down on something causes no pain or discomfort for the dog, so golden retrievers will bite people, children, other pets, and even other goldens as hard as they can. The only dogs that bite more are the German Shepherd and the Chow Chow, which was originally named the Choo Choo. And of course, these dogs have webbed feet, making them built to swim. This genetic mutation came when original breeders threw ducks into the dog cages for them to eat, but it turned out the dogs were more interested in a little cross-species romance. But unbeknownst to the Golden, it has a skeleton inside of it. And the skeleton could have some yucky red and green stuff on it. That's pretty messed up. But the Golden Retriever being a dog and not, say, a doctor or a fireman, will probably ignore this nasty red and green stuff for the rest of its dumb, natural-born life. Consult with your vet if your Golden is aware of its own skeleton. For environment, Goldens are relatively good for fuel mileage and produce negligible amounts of greenhouse gases. They are perfectly fine with living in houses, apartments, farms, but not mansions. These dogs are mostly kept alive as pets. Research shows the vast majority of Golden Retriever owners prefer their dog alive than dead. Grooming-wise, you may want to ask them to take their coat off before they sit down to dinner. If the Golden Retriever refuses, you can ask them politely but firmly to leave. Golden Retrievers are extremely easy to train. For example, you can train them to learn a human language, but then you can train them to never speak again. Now that's just smart. There's probably no better pet for the entire family. Well, except maybe a cactus. Hell, the cactus is the perfect pet. Never makes noise, requires very little resources, has thorns for home defense. Do yourself a favor and get a cactus. Each Golden has their own unique personality and traits, but in general, Goldens can survive in the vacuum of outer space, and some even require it to live. Their large size can crush smaller owners. They need some brides and grooms, and while they're trainable, they usually prefer airlines. They're good with kids, and even better without them.